Have you ever been to the beach and someone's sitting on the sand or in the ocean and it spoils your view? Well, today we're going to do some magic and make them disappear. So, in this section, we're going to talk about what happens you're at the beach and you see a beautiful sunset. You're the only one on the beach except for one person in the ocean. So this will spoil your whole shot, right? So not necessarily. So let's look how we can remove that person from the sea in Premiere. So the first thing we're going to do, this is our clip of this lady in, in the ocean here. The rest of the beach is open, like we said. First thing to do is click on this video one panel, press the alt key, drag it up, release the left key on your mouse and then the alt key. All right, and then we have two uh, layers exactly the same. Make sure that we're clicked on the top layer. We're gonna go to opacity and then we're going to click on the pen tool and we're just going to make a mask around this person here a little bit up into the sand just like so next thing we'll do is we'll turn off the layer for the lower area and then we're going to click back on the top one and then do invert so now we can see this is our mask area okay what we can do too is click on mask feather and mask expansion we're just going to move mask feather a little bit more, nothing too big, an expansion just a touch maybe. Okay, so now we'll come back down here, turn this layer back off on the lower layer, and it looks normal. We've made the mask. We click on the lower layer, go up to the x-axis and just move her out of the way like this. We'll also see that I want the shoreline to match, so I'm going to just... Bring that down a touch like so. And then that will show us that, you know, effectively we removed her. But we need to play around with some of the little things here. So what we need to do is you can see that this uh, area here, you can see the square of the mask. So we need to click on the lower layer, go to the color effects, and then just try to manipulate this a little bit you can see it's lighter and we're going to do our best to match the color of the background of the of the the top layer i should say so you can just you know because effectively what we've done is copy the layer from over here and pasted it in here and this color in the ocean is not exactly the same as this so you just can play around a little bit until you get as clear as you can with it being the same and then if we go back now there you go she's pretty much removed i can still see a little bit of the square of the mask so we click on the top one and you go back to the mask itself you can see it and we can just play around with if we do that same thing we turn off the lower layer here by clicking that you can just maybe increase the the feather a little bit and if we turn that off here again you know maybe that will give us something where it's a little bit more feathered turn this off and there you go you might have to play around a little bit more with the colors and things like that but you remove the person from the scene and now you got the beach to yourselves So let's take this one step further and we'll do another one where it's a little bit more difficult because the guy's stretching uh, over the sea and then we'll see what we can do with that. So for this one, we already have um, this guy on the beach here. Uh, notice that when he stretches though, 
he stretches up into the mountain area up here so be aware of that so let's click on this first hold down your left mouse key press alt and then drag a copy up Re remove your left mouse key first and then the alt key and that makes a duplicate layer now what we're going to do is click on this top layer go to opacity here click on the pen tool and just i'm going to go above the clouds here just a bit the mountains i should say and come down to about here just make a box around him like so and then if we go down to turn off the lower layer and then we say invert we have this i'm going to click on mask feather and mask expansion now I'm just going to feather it a little bit. It's already at 10%. I'm just going to do a little bit more. Let's see what that looks like. 13 or something. An expansion just a little bit maybe. Okay. Now what we can do is turn this back on. And then click on the lower layer, layer here. And then move the X value under position. Move that so that he will disappear and what i'm looking for here is just that we can match up sort of these mountains a little bit now if we scrub through there we want to make sure when he's exercising you can see right here that i just see is his arm here so again all we have to do here is click on where your mask is so you can see it in this case we can just either increase the mask you can move it so he just disappears like so or we can just expand it a little bit to this area so now if we click off the mask again here and we scrub through this we will have the guy gone again we can see this the box that we made here and what you can do is also feather this a little bit more. See if we can blend that in like so. Looks pretty good, exactly right there. You also might have to go to the color section as before and click on the lower box here. And then just, as you can see, try to play around with the colors to match them as best you can and play around with it to get as near as you can to the you know the same colors and you can play around with the other effects on the mask as well so like i said you can increase the feather a little bit more as well and see that doesn't look too bad at all there okay and let's see what that looks like So if this type of thing appeals to you and you want to take your skill to the next level, then check out our website for more information.